gave me her number. So I got her number. So she, you know, I have a wellness clinic and Kimberly, you know, I have initially said, did Kimberly come yet? It's almost like people are betting. When is she going to (laughs) come? So Kimberly has made the first move. So everybody, it's on me now. I got to call her and and, and coordinate some time for her to come by to the clinic. Anthony, you got to come by too. That's right. Yeah, I want to come by. Yeah, and, for sure. Um, where, where is it again? It's 13 West 122nd Street. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's right so, there. So, we, yeah, okay. it's not that far. So, we, okay. we have to uh, make sure that that happens. So, I'm on my way out, and uh, I want to thank you guys again for coming in. And uh, Rapid Realty, uh, you want an apartment, you want to have some people who can put you into a place. Wherever you may be, call Rapid Realty. Take care. We're up. See the light is a when you feel the vibe and your mind is open while I sit down. WHCR 90.3 FM, New York. WHCR presents Hearts Meet When House People Meet Valentine's Day Party on Thursday, February 14th from 6 p.m. to midnight. Hearts Meet When House People Meet will be held at Image Nation's Raw Space. Located at 2031 Adam Clayton Powell Jr. Boulevard between 121st and 122nd Street. Our special guest, world-renowned numerologist Lloyd Strayhorn will give relationship readings. Bring your sweetheart or find your sweetheart and dance the night away to the best House Music in Harlem by WHCR's DJ Mike D. DJ Vince the Prince. DJ Justice. And DJ Black Icon One. There will be free food. And a cash bar. And the mission is only $10. What? What you say? And the mission is only $10. That's WHCR's Hearts Meet When House People Meet Valentine's Day Party. On Thursday, February 14th from 6 p.m. to midnight at Image Nation's Raw Space. Harlem 411. Tune in to Harlem 411 Friday nights at 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. for information on health, education, housing, community events, and more. Harlem 411 serves information to you with the opportunity to call in with your questions. Harlem 411 produced to serve the community's needs. Let us serve you with information Friday night, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. on Harlem 411. to the smooth, silky sounds of the Soul Lounge Experience with your host, DJ Malone, Tony Smooth, and the Night Watchman. Remember, the Soul Lounge Experience comes to you live at midnight, the first Saturday morning of every month on WHCR 90.3 FM New York and WHCR.org. So kick back, 
relax, and let the Soul Lounge experience take you away. You'll never listen to radio the same again. That's right, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to Kimberly Not Kim on WHCR 90.3 FM, the one and only voice of Harlem. Oh boy, it's brick up here, brick, 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 brick. And I don't know if you guys can hear me, but I can't hear myself. At any rate, there I am. <laughs> All in a day's work. My brain is frozen. Y'all, I told you earlier, it's freezing up here. At any rate, girlfriend, put on your microphone, your headphones whenever you get ready, your microphone and all that. I'm talking to my girl, Susie Q Fitlife, who's up here with me today. So I just want to say, first and foremost, I was watching, um, first, thank you for Dionys Cochran last week. Dionys blessed us with um, a piece that she wrote expressly for Conscious Vibes, and she is an award-winning poet. She read a couple poems up here. The response was overwhelming. Um, you know, big shout out to you, Dionys Cochran. Also, in addition to that, I also want to say a big shout out to one of my Twitter fans, my Twitter buddies. Her name is Diva Up, and she's published this month, actually for the February issue of uh, Essence Magazine with uh, T.D. Jakes on the cover. And she is on page 103. Ow, girl. How you doing, Callie? Page 103. TurboTax. <laughs> Perfect timing. Oh, my goodness. You better work. Diva up. Hey, girl. I don't know if you're able to tune in this week or not, but a big shout out to you. Mel Star, wherever you are. How you doing? Also, DJ L Boogie. How you doing, Lamont? Jersey in the house. I'm just sending all the love that I possibly can. Oh my goodness, if you're looking at the stream, we are dressed for comfort and warmth. There's no, there's nothing extra today, okay? It is what it is, all right? So just know that the sisters are here. We're going to do what we got to do. And let me, let me put on Susie's microphone. Susie, you mean I was cut the whole time? You wasn't there because you wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was here. I was listening to oh, you oh, and okay. the vibe. Your conscious vibes, Miss Kimberly and not Kim. Ow. <laughs> you know how afraid you have me of like, oh my goodness, what if I say Kim? Because you have Kim, but then you don't want to say Kim, and it's Kimberly first, but then not Kim. So I get very nervous. So all <laughs> night last night, I was just like, I better not, better not say that other name. It's okay. <laughs> if you say it, Susie, it's perfect. No, okay. no, I won't say I know, it. I know it's with love. Excuse me. I know it's with love and everything like that. No, it's so ingrained in me now, the, the Kimberly and the not Kim. I just didn't know that Kim was so offensive. Well, so, you know, you know, first and foremost, <laughs> it's like um, it's a term of endearment. Uh, so my my close family members call me Kim, and when somebody says Kim, I also associated with my parents were growing up that I'm being chastised. So I'm just like, <laughs> what? Do you know me like that? No, oh, um, my goodness. And also, Kimberly Mines is one of the largest diamond mines in Cape Town, South Africa. Oh. So my name is Kimberly. So I'm saying, don't shorten my wealth. Yes. You know, I, I hope to go over there and visit one day. Yes. But um, so I'm like, don't call me Kim. So no one calls me Kim. If anybody calls me Kim, they've known me for like. 20 years or oh, something. Okay. Oh, I, I, yeah, so it's just one of those things. And p besides, it's like manners. If you introduce yourself to me as Susie Q, I ain't gonna go, like, what's up, Sue? Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm like, did, I, did I give you that liberty <laughs> to shorten my name? I'm like, yes. no, I, I did not. And I have to say, it's very common in the Jewish community where they shorten names all the time. Oh, really? All the time. Well, so it's almost like a part of the culture. So I guess it always depends. Well, you in, know, the black, in the black family, we do it too, you know? It's like, <laughs> boom, boom, yeah, um, yeah, yes. sweet pie, things like that. Calling you by your nickname we, we according to what you wear. And then we forget <laughs> when we have a formal, what is the real name is? You know, we put on, um, on, the, uh, on the invitation. But before <laughs> we get into this, 
I had um, a request about this conscious vibes, right? That, mm-hmm. And this is the poem that um, Dionys wrote last week. And someone asked me to play it once again. Now, um, William, if you're listening, and also to all the rest of my poppies over there from the islands, <laughs> you know who you are, Black of Black, Gordon, um, I'm going to play this for you and for your daughter, okay? And um, I'm actually going to read it. This is a piece that uh, Dionys wrote on her way to the station last week, and it's called Conscious Vibes. Conscious Vibes. Uprooted from a royal tribe, African nations from where I derive, my drum beats to a conscious vibe, stolen from my mother's land, but still grown in a a righteous sand, watered with faith and nurtured with love, blessed with with a healing gift from the man above, I walk with angels, my head held high, feet firmly planted and aimed toward the sky, of where who I am and where I'm going, in full control of the winds that are blowing. They can't control my sway, it's my decision to go this way. I choose to rise above the scrutiny, proud dreamer in a land of manifest destiny. My words lend aid to mutiny, against the reign of ignorance and degrada- degrada- degradation. My, pres- my black president leads this nation, as I strive to strengthen my relations with myself my soul my god his tribe my roots my ancestors from where i derive my dream my drum beats to a conscious vibe ionis cochran january 15th 2013 thank you dionis in the background i got i'm um, a little bit of um ivory let me take you there playing um he was an artist that was signed to uh, loud records so at any rate i also want to make a comment about love and hip-hop what is going on erica is bringing us fever on love and hip-hop and i have to say olivia i like olivia but olivia we don't want to hear no more love songs from you girlfriend no more ballads we need an upbeat song like what you did when you was with what's his name um oh boy 50 cent curtis curtis jackson mm-hmm. i take you to the candy shop Ow! now that was bringing us something all this lovey dovey stuff that you doing we don't want to hear it crickets 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 call up kimberly not kim i'll give you some ideas what you think wow well this whole time while you were talking i was looking for the camera i'm like which camera i'm like so tricked up by this camera and the fact that people are like tuning she's in such a celebrity no i'm like i need to look at the right camera so that's why i have that now that's why when you said ivory i'm like is that what you call him <laughs> is this a piece of ivory that's, right that's here peter our engineer <laughs> y'all y'all it's gonna be one of them days <laughs> y'all <laughs> that's peter our engineer Near and we're, you're being shot from the top, from over here, from the top. Yes, I'm so amazed. yeah, so you're being shot from the top. So um, that's thanks to you, Doug. How you doing, Doug? Doug, Doug baby. Mom, mom, mom. that's one of our engineers. Wow. So uh, Susie, you doing it, baby? Why don't you um introduce yourself? And then we're going to play a little bit of music and we're going to get into the show. Okay, Speak all right. Speak into the microphone. Okay, the show started. The show started at 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock to be exact. Okay, all right. Don't all right. got it. Now, now that we're a half an hour in, well, Susie Q, why don't you introduce yourself now? Okay, if, if everyone still knows, I'm not cleaning up the studio here. I'm actually supposed to be sitting here with Kimberly, not Kim. I'm Susie Q. I'm an armed celebrity fitness trainer. I guess I should pull out the poster yes. because you guys are watching and I I hope I'm holding it up to the right camera. Yeah, there you go. There you go. I did it. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> so my whole thing is, of course, the Arms of a First Lady Fitness DVD in honor of our First Lady, Mich- Michelle Obama. Mm-hmm. And didn't she make us so proud last night? Oh, I love her. That an art girl bald everything was just... I love her. The whole first family. Yeah, I was going to say the mother, the, the brother, oh, the girls. The first girls. Uh-huh. Beautiful. I, I, mean, I mean, I wish Martin... Luther King was alive to witness everything that he had to fight for and sacrificing his life to to give us the sense of freedom. It, it's incredible. And 50 years later, it really just makes us feel so honored to be able to witness this, mm-hmm. you know, and, and capture the moment. And even before Obama had actually turned away from the podium and he looked out at the audience and he said to his mom, I need to just turn around and see this again because I'll never see this again. Yeah, it was truly uh, 
I guess you would say a monumental and a, a historical moment. It was a and historical moment and on a historical day, <laughs> you know, for Martin yeah, Luther King yeah. Jr. Incredible. And, and, and just the energy and the vibe and the positivity. That's everything that we always like to, you know, um, put forward in the Suzy Q Fit Life. It's like having a fit life is living a life with balance and being able to take care of yourself. Because if you fail to take care of yourself, you're not good to yourself. You're not good to anyone. You got to take care of yourself first and and that's the whole presence of the first lady theme is every woman is a first lady but not every woman is taking care of herself I she's know. not putting herself first i know and and it comes from the inside out you know it does um if your mind is aggravated a little bit tainted um yes. with certain thoughts and issues and stuff it soon becomes to manifest physically it yes. starts to manifest physically and you got to get that in check people yes i know have you ever yourself you know, Susie Q battled any type of issues as far as nutrition because you go out and you go out it hard. And y'all, yeah. girlfriend got a body. Oh We're not my about goodness, this little little cheese fine. doodle fries. Yeah. We need a potato yeah, chip no, with extra yes. mayonnaise and hot sauce. A on real it. Girl. Okay, this is a real woman right here. Okay? She got some meat <laughs> on her bone. It is all <laughs> that. You're Let so me tell funny. you, okay, mm -hmm. stop being modest. Mm -hmm. Susie Q and I, we went out, right? We had like this brief little meeting, right? Yes, before we bring you the show. Yes, we went mm -hmm. we went on this meeting. And when we went to this meeting, all right, when she walked in the door, there was a gentleman there, a distinguished gentleman, and there were mm -hmm. other gentlemen there. She stopped everybody stopped eating. That is so not true. They stopped eating. No, they turned around. They're like, Who is this woman with these ponytails? <laughs> and granted was oh, cold. Oh goodness. When and you can see the cold again fitted, fitted around her frame and she was just like a brick house. So my <laughs> question, funny. you know, after all of that is have you yourself experienced any issues as far as health or uh, oh, nutrition ab absolutely. or weight? Tell absolutely. Us. Well, because I come from a uh, heavy set family, it's always been a struggle with weight and it's something that I've always been aware of and always tried to fight towards how to figure it out, how to figure out the battle. How do you um, manage to maintain and keep yourself healthy and not starving yourself and learning about proper nutrition right. and how to feed yourself and nurture yourself and at the same time proper exercises, what's really good for the body, what's safe, what's overtraining. And it really took a lot. It took a long time to try to get it. And even today, it's still a struggle because guess what? Food is still out there. It Ooh. exists, right? <laughs> and that's why that whole slogan, watch your mouth and get a fit life. That whole watch your mouth, it, it's a real wake up call and a reminder in so many ways, figuratively, to really realize what are you saying, the words that you're speaking, and how that can affect you. If I start saying, oh, I'm never going to get this, I won't be fit, I'm just, I, I, I'm not, I just, I'm big boned, I can't get it. Then, then all of a sudden it's like we're speaking into our life that we're not going to be able to achieve the goal that it is that we want to achieve. But if we start changing our mindset and, and it's like, you know what, when the mind can conceive it, the body will achieve it. You start speaking in that right positive yes, tone. Yes, yes. You start to believe it yourself and it will happen because every day you make choices and those choices affect you your fit life in the long run so you look at the big picture so for me i had to start learning okay about portion size i had no idea what portion size was i thought you just eat until the tank is full and sometimes <laughs> you could be a bottomless pit right and sometimes you could be feeding your emotions and not even physically just being able to feel full and saying okay i'm satisfied it can be filling a void of something else that's missing and it's really getting to know yourself so you have to be conscious you have to be conscious and then you got to have the right vibe if you want to vibe right and move that body then you're grooving and then you're getting sculpted and toned and physically fit well you know i attest to that right <laughs> um in the background that's that's grover washington y'all oh he's Any good battle, go yeah. grover go Grooves. grover like what i was gonna say oh wait let's do a little quick station id okay hcr 90.3 fm new york all right, ladies and gentlemen, in case you didn't know, you're listening to Conscious Vibes with Kimberly, not Kim. I'm going to move this. As little, am I allowed? You can do whatever you want to, girlfriend. <laughs> um, but be careful your headphones so you don't so you don't knock yourself. But um, you're tuning in to Kimberly, not Kim on WHCR 90.3 FM. And I have special guests here with me, Miss Susie Q Fit Life. And she is a guru of fitness and health and the first lady 
of fitness here in Harlem and throughout the community. She's always given back. She's been seen on The View, New York One, ABC. Um, she did a mob flash up here in Harlem for the Barack Obama uh, presidential campaign. And the people were down there on Lenox Avenue giving it to you hard and heavy people. Susie is very accomplished, and she's got arms just like Michelle Obama. Let me find out. It might be something in the water that they're drinking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I just lost my breath trying to just digest all of it. So all I got to do is say thank you so much, Susie, for taking some time out to join me up here today. We're gonna, we're gonna, you know, do what we gotta do, y'all. I don't know. I, don't, I guess she used to be in a telephone st studio, a television studio. She runs around, y'all. She goes and just her own personal camera, put her headphones on, drop the headphones, still be talking like she know, like, like she got a lavalier. And I'm still <laughs> and she's trying to see and her. She's still trying to see her angles in the monitor. Yes, I have to see everything so that way it's like you know it is really CNN up in here. Oh, no, I love it. You gotta see it. Uh, anyway, y'all. Seeing is believing. You're, you're, you're being seen and heard, and that's a gift. It's true. And <laughs> and, and y'all should know when we're talking about fitness, when you see Kimberly, not Kim, sometimes I'm thick and juicy, yes. and sometimes I'm just as felt, but I'm always happy. That's right. I'm that's always right. happy. Even when I got the pimples on my face and the hair is falling out and the braids ain't laying just right, I'm like, yes, ow. Right. You <laughs> are. It's all about your aura and everything that's in the inside. And what's on the outside doesn't even matter. We're a shell. True. That's all it is. And we just have to be the best version of ourselves that we can be. And actually, didn't you see the words we were using to describe you on the website? On SusieKidFitLife.com? No, I didn't because I was rushing up here. What you said? Oh, okay. Well, we <laughs> said... <laughs> what you said? It was, it, vibrant, colorful. Ow. All of these words describing you because this is exactly what you are. And this is what you give out to all of your fans, all of your listeners. And that's why everyone loves you. But thank you so much. Mm -hmm. The Wonder Twin Powers. Mm -hmm. Anyway, mm -hmm. now, <laughs> this. Power to the sisters. Help <laughs> Watch your mouth uh -huh. and get a fit, fit life. life. That's right. House, you two snaps, snaps your fingers. And, That's right. and a Z formation. Uh -huh. Bow. It, Let's do it, girl. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Listening to Conscious Vibes with my girl Kimberly Lockham every Tuesday from 5 to 6 p.m. on WHCR 90.3 FM. Somewhere 
Also want to give a big shout out to Willie over there in New Jersey. Also, Mr. Hunt 
on that graphic design grind. How you doing? Mr. Brad Frederick, still getting love from that character. Gotta do the next one. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Charlotte, North Carolina checked in. Also, Charleston, South Carolina. What's on, going on? Corey, DJ Corey B. Ow! Cool Cash Johnny, I see you too. R&B Little. You guys keep me on my toes. Diva up. Where you at, girl? You working? All right. Once again, it's Kimberly Not Kim, WHCR 90.3 FM, 212-650-6903. That's again, 212-650-6903. You have us here until 6 p.m. All right. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Darian, and every Tuesday, I can't wait to listen to Kimberly's Conscious Vibes on WHCR 90.3 FM, the one and only voice of Harlem. for the sky and even if you don't make it up there <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you I forgot what this what the what the line is for that the and now the whatever it is my brain is frozen <laughs> Susie Q I know it happens brain freeze help me even though you're not drinking anything oh god <laughs> 24 hour <laughs> bodega how you doing what's up noble ace Michael Nobelski <laughs> my new followers what's going on droop pop Tweet, 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 tweet. Also, Susie, you got some DVDs over here. What's up with that? Baby? Yes, I do. I have um, the Arms of a First Lady Fitness DVD. And, of course, it's a total body workout. So you're able to work your entire... Oh, okay. I, I feel like I'm so loud, but maybe only to myself. Um, but it is a total body workout where you're not just focused on the arms alone. You are working everything. Because guess what? In order to work those arms... You got to make sure that those deltoids are popping too, the shoulders, and you're working your waist, you're working your upper back and low back and stretching and also the quads, the hamstrings, the calves, everything is at work. Your Talk forearms. To the microphone. Oh, okay, yes, I hope you can Project hear me still. Voice. Huh? Project your voice. Okay, uh, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can okay, hear you. Okay, all right, okay. that's good. <laughs> so, and that's the main thing. And I also wanted to um, encourage everyone, in case people do want to get a fit life, we actually have on February the 9th, on Saturday, February the 9th, we're doing a Fight for Air Stair Climb. And I do it annually with the American Lung Association. So you can simply log on to suzyqfitlife.com forward slash Fight for Air. How they spell Susie? S U Z Y? Oh, yes, that's a good question. S-U-S-I-E. S-U-S-I-E. And that's how you do it. And it's Suzy Q, Fit Life, F-I-T-L-I-F-E dot com. And simply, you can sign up and get registered with us for the walk. Also, what we have going on is on the 20, sorry, the 31st of January, we're actually getting the food fight characters, you know, the watch your mouth food fight characters, where we've got the hamburger big man, the burger big man, we've got the soda ghost pop man, we've got Miss Bag of Chips, because she Ow! thinks she's all that. She got barbecue uh, sauce. Just, <laughs> 
<laughs> and uh, we also have the disease fighting ninja so he helps us as well too in order to keep our bodies strong and fight back on uh, so that's one of the main things that and we want to do and this is at the um, PS 197 school and this is related to the Toro College and, and the program PS 197 school oh that is on um, 5th Avenue and uh, 135th Street okay. and that is going to be happening at 9 30 in the morning those kids are amazing it's the project aspire group and it's the scrub club and these kids are learning how to improve their lives how to be healthy and and basically also getting their parents involved so that makes a major change children always like to follow in the footsteps of what they're seeing their parents doing or their guardian doing and uh, and that's how they that's basically the examples they learn from so you can never tell them do as I say not as I do as a parent you always want to make sure that you are setting the example and the tone for the kids so that way they're gonna want to get involved they want to eat their vegetables if mommy's eating their vegetables then it's cool so that's something that's very important and then that also um, tags along with everything that Michelle Obama has been doing with the let's move campaign so it's something that's very very important as very vital in that sense also I want to give a big shout out to the Susie Q Fit Life the Fit Life family on Facebook you guys are all amazing and it goes from Darlene to uh, Daria and um, Oh my goodness, Theta, there's, um, oh my goodness, it's such a huge family. I think we've got over 5,000 um, and 120 something, I think, um, Fit Life family members, and wow. I can't remember everyone. Katie Kaysen, um, Joe K, there are Neil Spartan, every, everyone out there, um, if I'm not mentioning you because there's 5,000 and 100 and something of you guys, it's, uh, you guys all mean a lot to me. And as a tribute to all of you, every week on Facebook for the most active participant that is sharing, that is commenting, and that is posting on the Suzy Cupid Life family wall, we basically honor them each week. So every person, every new person gets to be the Fit Lifer of the week. And we basically um, get to highlight what it is that they're doing or their personal interests and what they're doing to strive to get a fit life. So it encourages everyone. And this is one of the best posts that we um, post out there weekly. Like, it's just amazing. Every day they're posting. Every day they're doing multiple posts. So you're getting exercise tips ideas. You're getting um, also motivational tips. So every Monday, we're doing Motivational Monday. And Tuesdays, it's our Talk Back Tuesdays and also our you uh it's a you tuesday as well too so you're saying so, that on mondays every monday they can go onto facebook yeah they can go onto facebook.com forward slash suzy q fit life you know how to spell it now s-u-s-i-e-q okay. and Yes, what were you going to say? No, you go ahead. Oh, okay, that's okay. Yeah, I know. How rude. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> so, anyways, just making sure you're paying attention. But, uh, anyway, so, yes, and also on Wednesdays, it's Watch Your Mouth Wednesdays. And Watch Your Mouth Wednesdays, what we do is we're always um, implementing something either with food or, again, the words that you speak. It's something that just makes you more conscientious of everything that you're doing. And you really want to make sure that you're speaking favor into your fit life. You don't want to tell people you don't have a fit life. Because then you're not going to have a fit life. And you're not going to have that balance. And that balance is career. It's family. It's your you time. This is what creates that mental health that we need in society today. That's so easily lost with everything. And all the daily stresses and financial struggles that may happen. We really want to make sure we're doing everything we can to keep each other healthy. And that's why I love the fit lifer of the week so much and and that gets presented on thursdays and on fridays it's our funny fit life friday so this is our joke of the day this is where you get to laugh you get to release after all of the stress you may have gone through in the workplace this is your time to be able to laugh and find something funny and on the weekends we do a lot of fun stuff and on sundays it's a little bit we, we kind of calm down or we will post some other cool pictures everything we do we I always tend to tie it in with imagery and um, it leaves sometimes when you have that mental picture it creates a little bit more of an impact with I an agree. individual. I, I agree with you and once again ladies and gentlemen Susie Q has covered seven days of the week okay <laughs> yes, so there's no excuse <laughs> there's there's really no excuse and um 
There's all types of ways to get it in. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, once again, you can follow her. Tell them your website because... Yes, because Kimberly's on it. Yeah, but, <laughs> Susie, if you go on to YouTube yes. and you put in Suzy Q Fit Life, yes. ladies and gentlemen and listeners, you get to see like all the stuff that Suzy Q has done because she's she's all that, I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. You'll see her with Anthony Anderson, you'll see her with Steve Harvey, yes. you will see her Tyrese. with Carla. Yes, on, that's, that's right. There's, there's, there's so many people, but the whole thing is that we always want to make sure that we're doing our best to bring you the stuff that you want to see. And many times people want to know what are the celebrities eating what do they have in their fridge yeah they doing? and as she says when you see the visuals it helps solidify the, and motivate you more because we actually we actually see you engaged yes. we see them engaged anthony anderson i, I thought was hysterical oh well, uh, thank you y'all didn't see it he put his hand over her mouth she oh, he said, him miss, uh, a, miss anderson miss he anderson. totally <laughs> put her on blast <laughs> uh, it was oh, such a slip of the tongue i wasn't slip. sure if i said it but, you know, and, but they did it fine. <laughs> so anyways, once again, you're listening to Kimberly, not Kim. Up next, we have Talk with Audrey. We're going to get back into some of this house music. If you want to give us a call, you can call us at 212-650-690. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on. You didn't say house music before, did you, on, that, on your, your poster? Your colorful cartoon character poster? Yeah, it should. Girl, don't you be calling me out my show. Uh -oh. So anyways, <laughs> I was saying, I heard, heard hip-hop. We, we do hip-hop, we do R&B. House is my forte. Is like, yeah, okay. like, I grew up with the house heads. Like, I was, I was Larry LeVon's stalker. Really? Yeah, okay. so I'm, I'm a big house head. I don't and, know who he is. Well, he's I'm sure you didn't say, like, across the legs or girl, do something. we used to put baby powder on the floor uh -huh. and everything, and Junior Vasquez, I mean... I baby like powder on the floor. Baby powder on the floor. So you can slide. Oh. And then you wear the layers and you peel it off and you go get a big bottle of water and eat it a piece sounds of like a good work. And uh, girl, we'd be there until 2 o'clock in the morning. Oh, and I'd be on the speaker. But anyways, I do house music too, y'all. So s since Susie didn't know, now she knows. What's playing in the background is one of my mixes. I actually did that mix that's playing in the background. So, um, it's yeah. DJ extraordinary. Well, and no, you know, <laughs> I, have to be, I have to be careful with that word DJ. Because okay. in the music industry, there are a lot of truly talented DJs who have that craft mastered. Yes. I'm not a DJ. I like to call myself a musicologist. A musicologist. I'm a I'm musicologist. Not a DJ. No, I'm a, I'm a musicologist. <laughs> I can I can blend it all the different genres. Yes. And I know what sounds good to the ear. I can go from folk music, whoa, that's country a music, polka music. And put it together with some house and a little bit of R&B and make it sound tight. Oh my goodness. So anyways, oh my goodness. watch out for my future mixes coming out on SoundCloud, y'all. <laughs> really? Oh my goodness, that's cool. We'll create the links back on the on the webpage. Yes. That we created just for Kimberly. Okay, and you guys, <laughs> Susie Q, she's, she shows so much love. I love her to death. I, and we're both Harlemites. I know. We're both up here in Harlem. Love you. We're not commuting. We're yeah. right here in the community. Right so here. anyways, we're going to give you what? Still shout out to Canada. Though. Yeah, Toronto, <laughs> Toronto. To yo. Okay, to yo. <laughs> now, let's go back to th this little song. Let's play. I like this song right here. Okay, here we go.
Conscious vibes? I can't. <laughs> Can you imagine a life without fitness? Mm-hmm. I can't imagine that either. Uh-uh. Um, Keller, how you doing? Big shout out, Bomber Nine Five Zero, Hip Hop Supreme. Thank you for checking in. Also, DJ Nelstar, stay strong. Love, love, love. Ow, Lawrence Robinson. Once again, Susie Q, thank you for stopping by, baby. DJ Perico also did a little tweet. Noble Ace, uh, Diva Up, Mina KC, all our normal regulars. Oh, boy, Gil, what's up? Miss Jenkins, Miss Margaret, all of you, peace and love. Again, we got Audrey coming up and Diana's Cochrane. Thank you again for coming in last week and Susie what you got to say baby uh, I want to just thank everyone my whole entire fit life Facebook family I love you I love you Miss Kimberly love my you Kim too. Vibes. Love you too. conscious you're making me conscious you're spreading the vibe it is beautiful don't forget to meet us February 9th for the fight for air stair climb and all the kids we look forward to seeing you at the PS 197 school oh yeah and I want to invite you to our Valentine's Day party if you're Ooh. not busy it's gonna be on Thursday February February 14th. Okay. It's at 6 o'clock at um, Imagination, Imagination Raw Space. Okay. Um, and that's going to be, I got a flyer on Adam, Powell, Adam Clayton Powell Boulevard between 121st and 122nd Street. Okay. And Lloyd Strayhorn. You know Lloyd. Lloyd, I'm probably the sure. The world with numerologist. Okay, I'm sure I do. Well, he teaches a course up here called Numbers in You, but anyways, he's fabulous. Mm. He's going to be there doing readings on relationships and stuff like that. Mm. So if you're in the neighborhood, stop by and join us. Okay. Please and thank you. All right. And um, ladies and gentlemen, up next we got Talk with Audrey. I look forward to seeing you next Tuesday on WHCR 90.3 FM between the hours of 5 and 6 p.m. where you get Kimberly Matt Kim delivering conscious vibes on your FM dial. Ow.
WHCR.